All right, hey everybody. Uh, welcome to the audio video directions for the USA Road Trip Summative. Um, so our essential question for this unit, add that EQ, was how can we plan a road trip across the USA that captures the diversity of our people and places? And for this summative, you're gonna plan a road trip across the country starting in Vermont that includes at least five stops. Um, so that's gonna be the first part. And then you're gonna make so an outline of your trip uh, and kind of put it on anything you want. So you can kind of present this any way you want. You're not gonna stand up and do a presentation, but you are gonna have a finished document that's really nice to look at. And we can go through a couple examples to give you a better idea of what those are. Uh, but you can decide whether or not you wanna make your trip on Google Maps, Google Slides. Uh, you could do a poster, like a physical poster, a brochure. You could write a story do a vlog with slides, you could do Canva or a web page, and if you have any other ideas, um, just ask. So uh, right below that on this assignment are two models, one on that I did on Google My Maps, and it's kind of, uh, I would say it's like half finished. I did one example stop, but then I planned out my whole route. And then one example here that Miss Hurley did. So um, the main gist of this is that you're gonna need five stops um, all around the United States, and one of which needs to be your adopted city. So uh, the things you need for this project are a map of the route with the stops accurately labeled, a graph of your adopted city's daily temperature since the start of the unit, and that's the thing that you're doing um, in my class for the summative, so a picture of that, or if you did it on the computer, just copy and paste it will be fine. And then I have again, at least five stops with details. So each stop you're gonna to have to include the name of the city or town and state, what year it became a state, two to three facts about that state, three to five activities to do in the city or town. Um, make sure there's one or two physical features and one or two human features. So a physical feature would be like a hiking trail or a mountain or a body of water to swim in. And then a human feature might be like a place to go see a baseball game or a restaurant you'd like to eat at. And then the extension there would be add a, add a couple sentences about what each activity is. And then a couple images uh, about where your uh, about that stop. So as you go through these, make sure you're keeping track of your sources because you're going to need a works cited page. So um, when you're starting this document, make sure that you are updating your works cited page as you go. On the next page here, on page two, we've got some reliable resources for your research. So as you think of places, then you can figure out um, you can figure out facts about them or things to do using Lonely Planet um, or visit the USA USA road trip ideas. Here are some another place. The National Geographic is a great place to find information about each state. In Miss Norwood's classroom atlases, sometimes it's just helpful to look for a big um, to look through a, a big map. Or you, and you can always go back to WeatherSpark if you want to get some climate data. Um, so the first thing everybody's going to do is go to Google Maps and start a route. Um, and plan your road trip uh, using this table. So the first thing I would do is figure out your five stops. So everybody's going to start in whatever town you live in Vermont, so one of the five towns. And then you're going to write down your first stop. So say my first stop was, say, well, let's say I live in Lincoln, so this might be two. And my first stop is going to be, um, let's say I want to go to Boston, Mass. So the next thing I would do, and I can't show you because I'm kind of locked into this tab, but as I was open up Google Maps and, um, and figure out how many miles and how many hours it takes between Lincoln and Boston, and then I'd write that down. And uh, the next thing I would do is go through and find, uh, start finding some fun facts about Boston, Massachusetts, figure out when Massachusetts became a state, um, figure out what human features and physical features are there that I want to do. So um, you're going to do that and then you're going to keep doing that for each place. Um, so that is a, certainly enough to get started, right? That's a lot of information for five different stops. And then um, when you're finished with that, oh, sorry, one other thing. Um, if you, a lot of you for your adopted city, you picked Hawaii or um, you picked another island, which is great. And for if that's the case for you, 
what you can do is instead of um, you're not going to, you can't drive to Hawaii or an Island. Right. But what you can do is um, you could park in like Los Angeles or anywhere on the coast of California and have your last stop, just be a ferry. So a fun fact might be like, how are you going to get from your car, you and your car from Los Angeles to Honolulu? Um, and the other option would be to do the whole road trip on Hawaii, right? That would be pretty cool. So there are a couple options there. Um, and then the last thing, once you've filled all of that out, what you're going to do is choose a medium to present your road trip and then highlight your selection. So you might want to do a Google map. You might want to do a Google slide again, poster, brochure, fictional story, whatever. Um, and then highlight it. And once you've got all that down, make sure you get an uh, initials from whatever teacher you're working with at that time. And then uh, you can start kind of putting it all together on however you've chosen to present it. So um, it's definitely a lot. It's a big project, but we know you guys can do it. And uh, we're really excited to see where you're going to take us. Awesome.